welcome back to my channel Raising Health and I'm Colleen the coach. Okay, if you are looking at this video for the first time and wondering what it is I'm up to, this is a teaching channel and I'm here to teach you how to eat right for life with food that you can trust. And I'm a health coach and I'm on a massive mission to help as many people as I can to change their lifestyle with food. Okay, I love food so much. I really do. I enjoy it so much. So, you know, I've had to incorporate a lot of healthy practices into, into my lifestyle. And I think the one practice that has been absolutely phenomenal for me is intermittent fasting. So for you guys who don't know, I became a vegetarian. My mom told me I was around four, so I don't actually remember eating meat or chicken. And then in my 20s, I started eating fish. So I'm still kind of fussy about um, the type of seafood that I do eat. But, you know, so that's a little bit about my background. So I think from a very young age, I was quite conscious about nutrition because of the little decision I made as a four-year-old. But, you know, years and years and years and years and years gone by now and here I am. And I really honestly can look back on the, my entire journey and honestly, one of the top three practices that have been phenomenal for me is intermittent fasting. So now I know you guys like to hear about intermittent fasting because that's when I get most of my views on my videos. But I want to just talk about a specific type of intermittent fasting today, and that is called OMAD. Okay, OMAD means one meal a day. Okay, so... You think about that and you think whoa this is super hectic i can promise you it is incredible i flippin love this okay so omad just like all the other practices that come with intermittent fasting okay i'll just give you a little bit of an example of my omad ritual so for example i like to do omad monday to wednesday three days of the week and i will have my eating period when jim gets home from work and that is around around 6 30 to 7 30 and then that's done and dusted and i can tell you now if there were any little bad habits that crept in from the weekend i can tell you by tuesday you are sorted out because just the first 24 hours in itself is just so powerful that you'll feel the difference immediately i'm going to just take you through a couple of points on omad okay so really what omad really means so obviously we've established now you've got a one hour window period and what do you do for the other 23 hours okay so at least eight hours of that you should be sleeping okay so the other balance of hours you would be drinking black coffee you'd be drinking your teas and you'd be drinking water okay so it sounds extreme, but I can promise you right now, look, this OMAD I'm talking about, guys, this is not for anyone who's never fasted before, okay? This is, this is a practice for those of you who understand fasting, who know fasting. So these are the people we're talking about. But I can honestly tell you, if you've never done fasting before and you just start small, you know, and um, I can assure you, there are other fasting videos which we'll put in the content here. So if you are brand new to fasting, there is a link here in the content and you can at least get started and then work yourself up towards this OMAD. How does that sound? Okay. So in that time, you're drinking your water, your black coffee, and then we are going to be very conscious about our calories because your, all your calories that you're going to be taking in is going to be in that one meal. Okay which is that period of about an hour. Okay, so you wanna make sure you've got your fats and you wanna make sure you've got your protein and your vegetables, which will, you know, give you the supply of all your vitamins. Okay, you need to take in, you know, forms of food with, you know, to get your minerals in, you know. I mean, I often just suggest to people, especially for minerals, you know, if you do feel that you're fasting pretty hard and you are a little bit concerned about your mineral intake, Especially your magnesium, etc., etc. Guys, this is not a mineral discussion, but I'm just saying, if you are going to be embarking on OMAD, which is an extreme form of intermittent fasting, just make sure 
that you get your daily requirements in that hour okay this isn't a starvation situation i need you to eat and i need you to get your nutrients in okay it's very very important you don't want to be an irresponsible faster that's not cool honestly it is just not cool okay another thing that offers is flexibility i absolutely love this omad you know i mentioned earlier that i will do my meals between 6 30 and 7 30 in the evening so that i can eat at the gym but i'm serious like i've got some clients who are doing it between two and three and um, some who are doing it between four and five i have some clients who are doing it between 11 and 12 because they seem to be fine in the afternoons so you know what you, it's your journey you pick your hour okay and i absolutely love the the flexibility because you know if you're having a bit of a nutty week and all if your whole entire schedule is all over the place you can just slot your in your 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 omad in and i promise you right now you are sorted okay and especially for people who are going to like conferences or work type environments where you can't or any type of environment where you can't really control what you eat but if you can just put yourself onto omad for that period or that day and you just pick your one hour and you just do what you need to do I can assure you you'll you'll have a much you'll be a more manageable situation as well okay so i love the flexibility of omad i really and truly do i love it love it love it okay the potential benefits of omad i mean i think this is probably the one that people always what attracts them to intermittent fasting in the first place and that definitely is weight loss okay so you're gonna lose a bit of weight, you're going to have an improved metabolic health, you're going to get into fat burning, and let me tell you, the increased energy levels, I can't explain it to you, like when I get to day two of OMAD, and as I said to you, I do OMAD three times a week, when I get to day two, oh my goodness, like, it's also the fog lifts, everything's clearer, honestly, it's exceptionally, exceptionally, exceptionally good for you okay and there's also other benefits as well you know there's apparently it has a positive effect on insulin sensitivity inflammation and we also do repair at cellular level when we fast okay so i'm gonna just get on to something and i'm looking down here because i've made notes because i want to talk to you a little bit about autophagy okay but we're gonna get there in a second another thing about this omad diet you know you've got to be extremely careful if you have any health related issues please you have to just check with your doctor if you have any kind of eating disorder please this is not for you you know you need to discuss this with your therapist or your doctor or, or anything like that i just want to you know i've seen it so many times where you know people are so excited with fasting and the benefits of fasting that they actually start abusing it so they get so super excited to fast and get all these amazing benefits because i promise you right now it is that it's true and you will lose weight if your body needs to lose weight you will feel better the fog will lift guys you know so fasting is an incredible tool okay so basically what i'm saying to you is like you can do a form of intermittent fasting called omad and you pick an hour a day and that's what you eat but you are responsible for making sure that you get all your daily required nutrients into that one meal okay and then outside of that one hour those other 23 hours you are drinking black coffee or your teas black teas and you are drinking water so basically guys in a nutshell that is what omad is okay so i made some notes here on autophagy because you know it's topics like this i sometimes <laughs> starts getting a little bit um you know when you're talking to the camera and trying to keep the thinking train of thought going it gets a little bit you can miss some very important points so if you're gonna go into this whole thing called omad or you're gonna get into intermittent fasting you're gonna get to like around 17 18 hours and then what happens your body goes into autophagy i flippin love this okay so listen you mustn't be fasting just to go into autophagy because i'm going to tell you a few a few good things here okay so i'm going to just read it exactly off the medical site that i took it off okay so fasting okay this can happen okay so autophagy is typically triggered when a cell is starved of nutrients and it goes into survival mode okay? how's that sound okay so your cells are starving and it's in survival mode 
and while that is taking place um, and this happens when you're fasting depriving the body of nutritional forces cells to repurpose cell components into an ATP for fuel okay so wow so basically this means your body is going into ketosis and you are now using fat for energy okay exercise okay exercise quickly burns glucose the body's main source of energy and triggering autophagy to keep cells functioning okay so that comes in with exercise as well restricting calories autophagy compensates for the loss of nutrients due to consuming too few calories okay and switching to a keto diet embarking on a high fat low carb triggers autophagy when the body burns fat instead of glucose okay so guys i'm serious like this one thing you know outside of all these other wonderful benefits of of you know starting intermittent fasting your body will go into autophagy and this will happen this will happen okay so as i said earlier that doesn't mean you need to start doing all radical fast just so you can get into autophagy okay so you need to keep yourself healthy as well okay so that i think is on autophagy right okay so yeah the cheat, they just go on to say making sudden we've said it earlier you know making sudden changes is not a good idea you need to you know get yourself strong and you need to get yourself mentally fit as well and most importantly you need to get yourself fasting fit so as i said to you there is a video down below that you can check out if you have never started or tried intermittent fasting and i really recommend it guys i really and truly do I think I actually did a video as well on the 48 hour fast, but that's a discussion for another day. I must, oh, I must really do a video for you on how I bring it all together for a one week plan. Maybe next month I'll do that for you because it really is powerful. You know, if you can take your intermittent fasting and make it work for you and your lifestyle, I can promise you right now, your life will change right in front of you. It is incredible. It's powerful. You'll achieve the goals that you need to achieve. And the simplicity around this is incredible. And you know what I also find when I'm doing my one meal a day, my Monday to Wednesday. Um, did I say that now? One meal a day. <laughs> Okay, so what I, I really put so much emphasis into this meal. So on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I really eat well, guys. Really, really, really well. So yeah, on those days, I really, really eat well because I put the effort into cooking that meal. Sitting down, enjoying it, chatting to Joan while we, you know, embark or be on this journey. And it really is so much fun. Hey, I really, I take my Mondays. And I try and do meatless, my, well I don't eat meat, but you know, just to keep any dairy or um, seafood out of the picture. So I really go like meatless Monday and we, you know, have one of those. This week we did a, a chickpea curry, like a super spicy chickpea curry mm. with coconut milk and so much cilantro and spices and chili. It was phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. And then Jim had some leftovers for work the next day but I didn't have any because I was back on my OMAD. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that if you don't do anything about intermittent fasting and you're curious, check out some of my videos, give it a go, because I can tell you right now, what, what's the harm in trying, you know? And then when you're strong and you're feeling confident, you can start, you know, incorporating some OMAD into your lifestyle. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you know anyone who would enjoy it, you know, or be interested in it, share it, like it, pass it on, comment, do whatever you need to do. Guys, I do offer a complimentary assessment on my website. It will be down in the content as well. So seriously, guys, just connect with me. I'm right here. I'm here to help you eat right for life. I'm here to help you feel absolutely fantastic. And I absolutely love you guys. And I'm here to make sure that you learn how to enjoy the food that you eat. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll catch you next week. Ciao, ciao.